show you how to build this wireless data transmission by using this pair of wireless bridges. Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to Fast Cabling. So if you watch our last video, you remember we installed multiple IP cameras on the pole using a PoE power switch and a 90 watt PoE injector. So that setup worked great for parking lot surveillance where we could run both power and data through Ethernet cables. But today, we've got a new challenge. Our client is expanding. They're building a second open-air parking lot nearby. But here's the catch. Some buildings are blocking the cable pathway, which means we cannot run Ethernet cable between the control room and our pole like before. So our client here still want wireless access point and IP cameras installed but without transmitting the power along the cable. And luckily, the Bose does have access to power grid. So we don't need to worry about powering devices using Ethernet cable from the control room. We cannot run the cable anyway. So this makes it a perfect case for our wireless data transmission. And our go-to solution is wireless bridges. Now let me show you exactly how we set it up. So now we're in front of the demonstration board and you are looking at our whole setup. And I'll show you how to build this wireless data transmission by using this pair of wireless bridges. But first let's start at our control room. So let's pretend we're in our control room now and we'll start with the 8-port WebSmart PoE switch. Now this will be used to connect to our first wireless bridge. And first, just simply use a short patch cord to connect the switch to our network video recorder to display video footage. And it's already connected to a big screen monitor. Next, I'm going to use another Ethernet cable to connect the switch to our wireless bridge. Now take a look here. At the back, we have our pole mounting brackets already mounted on the wireless bridge. And all we need to do is put it through the pole here. Now, when mounting a wireless bridge, there are a few important things to keep in mind. First, we need to face the bridges directly at each other. They need a clear line of sight to work effectively. Make sure you avoid obstructions like trees, buildings, or heavy metal structure. And next, you can always check the signal indicator lights to verify if you get a strong and stable connection. And it's also good practice to elevate them a bit to reduce interference. So without saying, let's use our Ethernet cable, connect to the data port of our wireless bridge here. Then we can power it up by using a DC 12 volt power indicator. Here we go. Now we are getting the power and the data. Make sure you face it directly to our second wireless bridge here. So now we're at the new parking lot. We can see the pole and this is our second wireless bridge. Again, we have to face it directly toward the first bridge back at the control room. And this form a point-to-point -point wireless link. But since we're installing two IP cameras and a wireless access point, so we need a way to connect all these devices to the wireless bridge. And this is where our outdoor PoE switch comes in. Now here's why it's the perfect choice. It is IP67 rated, weatherproof, and dust resistant. It's also PoE enabled, so we can power all the devices, including the wireless bridge, without needing separate power adapters. And their plug and play, no configuration required, just connect and go. Now you can see the PoE switch is already connected to the local power grid. Next, I am just going to insert four Ethernet cable for our two cameras, our wireless bridge, and also our wireless access point. They are already connected to the device. So now let's connect our outdoor PoE switch directly 
to the PUE port of our second wireless bridge. This wireless bridge can also be PUE powered. Now you can see the indicated lights are on. Face it back to our first bridge. So we already created the wireless link. Now we just have to wait and check out the IP cameras. I'm going to right click it. Let's go to the quick set and search for our cameras. All right, they are already connected. So now you can see the video feed. And I'm going to wave my hand. So you can see this is a live video. The wireless connection work well. Now you might notice one thing. Our wireless bridges here don't need any configuration. That's right. Our wireless bridges are already paired right out of the box. So once they both power on, they automatically connect with each other. No configuration needed. But you can always log into the wireless bridge interface to check or fine tune like the frequency channel to avoid interference with nearby Wi-Fi networks and also the antenna alignment to check the signal strength and ensure optimal positioning. And since all of our IP cameras and wireless SS point are now on the same network, it is a good practice to create VLANs to isolate traffic. VLAN, known as Virtual Local Area Network, it lets us separate devices logically on the same physical network. And this improves security, prevent data leakage between devices, and ensure better network performance. Now, most most smart switches like the one that we're using support VLAN tagging, so you can also assign ports to different VLAN easily through the web interface. Now if you want to know how to set it, you can always check out our other videos about how to set up VLANs. And last but not least, let's talk about bandwidth. Our wireless bridges support up to 300 megabit per second, but remember, you should never max it out. And our tip is to divide the total bandwidth by three to account for overhead, environmental interference, and to ensure stable data flow. So realistically, you can plan for about 100 megabit per second of usable throughput. So let's say each IP camera uses about 10 megabit per second and the wireless access point needs 30 megabit per second for multiple users. So that's about 50 megabit per second, well within our safe range. But if your setup needs more bandwidth, no worries. We also offer our next gen Wi-Fi 7 wireless bridge which support gigabit speeds. So it's perfect for higher resolution cameras or larger deployments. So coming to the end of this video, we've successfully set up a wireless transmission system that connects the control room to a remote parking lot with no need to run Ethernet cables through blocked path. Now all this ensures a clean, efficient, and scalable surveillance setup. Now if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you won't miss our future videos. Now thank you very much for joining us, and I'll see you in our next one.